Welcome to the training presentation for the setup and use of Neogen's filter and ampule media testing system. In this presentation, you will get an overview of the system, proper setup, and methods for use. Neogen is a food safety diagnostics company with a single goal and focus to provide rapid, precise testing solutions that help guarantee the quality of products from the farm gate to the dinner table. Neogen has developed the broadest portfolio of solutions in the food safety industry. Some of our latest innovations for beverage products and source water testing include ampule media for the recovery of preservative-resistant yeasts and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The filter in ampule system is composed of two parts that, when combined, can be used to test for a wide variety of organisms in liquid samples. The 0.45 micrometer filter monitors are developed by Neogen at the request of one of the leading bottling groups in North America. They are offered in both black and white filter colors. Neogen's ampule media formulations provide a complete filtration solution for the testing needs of the beverage industry. Our ampules are currently used by the majority of plants in the U.S. and Canada for frontline micro testing. Neogen filters and ampule media have several applications for the beverage industry, including bottled water, soft drinks, juices, process water, and environmental swabs. When testing environmental swabs on Neogen filters, the swabbing technique is very important. If swabbing a flat surface, a 10 by 10 centimeter area should be swabbed using a cross-hatch technique revolving the swab on the surface. Repeat this procedure a second time with movements at right angles to those used in the first step. Neogen filters and ampule media are supported by a world-class production team to ensure the product is always available when needed. Neogen also has a dedicated technical service team specific to this product line. The assay assembly is just as important as the filtration procedure. Ensure the manifold is connected properly to the vacuum source with a rubber stopper that creates a secure seal. Please note that sterilization is the preferred method to clean the assembly. If an autoclave is not available, bleach is an alternative. If utilizing bleach, allow it to sit approximately 30 seconds and immediately rinse with water, as bleach can erode the inside compartments. Once the rubber stopper is secure in the manifold, Place the funnel adapter into the rubber stopper, also ensuring a secure seal is formed. Now, using a gentle twisting motion, secure the Neogen filter apparatus to the funnel adapter. Please note to check that the PSI level is set and maintained at 15 PSI throughout testing. Adequate vacuum pressure is essential for acceptable test performance. Remove the filter cover from the Neogen filter apparatus and carefully pour the sample directly into the filter. When samples have been poured into all filter monitors, apply a vacuum one valve at a time and long enough to pull the sample through the filter. After applying the vacuum to a filter apparatus, it may be necessary to rinse the inside walls of the apparatus. Use about 20 milliliters of sterile buffered solution to rinse the inside walls and apply vacuum just long enough to pull the remaining solution through the filter. Once the vacuum is turned off, briefly remove the Neogen filter from the funnel adapter to release any remaining vacuum pressure. Then re-secure the Neogen filter onto the funnel adapter. Now add the culture media from the ampule to the top of the filter. Be careful not to touch the filter to the tip of the ampule. Please note to try and spread the media evenly over the filter to avoid pooling. If the media pools on top of the filter, this would allow for uneven distribution of growth support with sporadic colonization. After the media has been added to the top of the filter, briefly apply the vacuum so that the media does not pool on top. Note that the media has been soaked and filtered correctly if there is a small pocket of air around the bottom port. The filter should be moist, but not oversaturated or dry. Now remove and appropriately discard the Neogen filter plastic funnel, or sidewalls. Once the sidewall of the filter apparatus has been removed, place the filter apparatus cover over the filter for incubation. Remove the covered filter from the funnel adapter and place a plug on the open bottom port. Place the Neogen filter into the incubator, inverted, and incubate for the appropriate time and temperature for the media utilized. Depending on the target organism, either a white or black filter may be used. It is recommended to use whichever gives the best contrast with the target organism. The Neogen white filter is a 100 milliliter sterile disposable membrane unit. It is white in color with dark grid lines, 56 millimeters in diameter, 
and has a 0.45 micron pore size. The Neogen Black Filter is also a 100 milliliter sterile disposable membrane unit. It is black in color with light grid lines, 56 millimeters in diameter, and has a 0.45 micron pore size. Neogen ampule media should be stored at refrigerated temperatures. Ample time should be given for ampule media to reach room temperature before use. The following are several of the types of media that Neogen offers to the beverage industry. M. Endo broth is used for the enumeration of coliforms. This medium is recommended by APHA and US EPA. All red colonies with a metallic sheen should be read and recorded. M. Green is used for the detection and enumeration of yeast and fungi. Mold colonies will appear white and diffuse. In addition for M. Green, yeast colonies can appear white to cream color, can have variable colonial development, and can have flat colonies with congruent growth. MI broth is used for the detection of total coliforms and E. coli in water. This medium was developed by the US EPA. MTGE is used for the detection and enumeration of aerobic bacteria. This medium is recommended by APHA. Pry broth is used for the detection of preservative resistant yeast such as Z. bailei. Orange serum broth is used for the cultivation of aciduric microorganisms associated with spoilage in fruit beverages. This media is recommended by APHA. Pseudomonas broth is used for the cultivation of Pseudomonas aeruginosa in water samples. When enumerating neogen filters after incubation, please note that TNTC, or too numerous to count, is typically identified with counts greater than 300 colony forming units, or CFU. Alternatively, TNTC is sometimes better identified when individual colonies cannot be distinguished from one another. Thank you for watching this training segment.